Hey you guys, it's Lisa Childs here from triedtestedandtrue.com where I share tons of tips and tricks and recipes for your instant pot. Today we are going to be making the best loaded baked potato soup. I got a comment on it yesterday that said this is the best baked potato soup I've ever had and I agree. I think baked potato soup should be more than just like potatoes swimming in milk, which is what I've had many times. And this recipe actually tastes like a loaded baked potato. So I hope you'll join me in this video as I show you how to make it. And be sure to please like and subscribe to my video. I feel silly asking, but I really would appreciate it so much. And yeah, let's get started. So let's talk about the ingredients that you'll need for your loaded baked potato soup in the Instant Pot. First, you'll need potatoes. I like using russet potatoes. I think they have great flavor, but you can use any potato that you like. You'll need five cups of diced potatoes. So usually a small to medium russet potato is one cup, like one potato equals one cup. You'll need four to five potatoes. Next, you'll need some bacon, and I like the thick cut kind. I think it has way more substance and flavor, so it's really delicious for this soup. Next, you'll need two tablespoons of dried onion flakes, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of salt, two cups of chicken broth, which I like to make with better than bouillon. It is so convenient to have, and it tastes way better than canned chicken broth, in my opinion. We'll need one cup of milk, and 2% or whole is best, but you can use 1% or skin. Um, it'll just make your soup a little bit less thick. One cup of heavy cream, one cup of sour cream, one cup of medium or sharp cheddar cheese, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then some green onions, chives, sour cream, cheddar cheese, bacon, salt and pepper for topping. Also, I know in this picture there is butter pictured. I'm sorry, I didn't end up using the butter and I just totally forgot about it when I went to make the recipe, but it does not need the butter because you've got that great flavor and the grease from the bacon, so no worries about the butter. Also, forgot to put the milk in this picture because it was in the, on the counter behind me. Sorry. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to add the bacon lardons into the Instant Pot. Let them cook for about five to eight minutes until they get nice and crispy. Now here's my trick and a little tip about the bacon. If you put your bacon slab in the freezer for about 20 minutes before you cut them, it will cut so much easier. Usually bacon, it's a little bit difficult to cut sometimes because it's so chewy and greasy, but if you freeze it, it will cut so nicely. Notice that I'm not stirring the bacon a million times. I'm letting it crisp up get cooked and I'm not steaming it because if I constantly mix it up, it's never gonna get that nice sear and a chance to fry. Give it a couple stirs every now and then, but don't be too overzealous with the stirring. You see all those awesome flavors developing on the bottom of the pot, those brown bits, that is what's going to give a great flavor to your soup. You will not get that if you keep stirring it. Now that our bacon is nice and crispy and perfectly cooked, I am going to take it out. You can use a little slotted spoon or just kind of like this, reserving the fat in the pot. Now I see that there's probably a little bit less than a quarter cup of bacon grease reserved in the pot. It's totally okay to leave that. If you have a ton of grease, about you know a half cup or more, take some of that out, just blot it out with a paper towel or something or with a spoon, but you can totally leave that grease in because it's going to add the flavor to the soup. Next, we are going to add five cups of peeled and diced potatoes into the Instant Pot. Now you can see I just dump them straight in there into the bacon grease. They are gonna pick up that awesome bacon flavor for this loaded baked potato soup. Add the minced onion, so I'm just using dried onion flakes, but you can use fresh onion if you like. Next, we are going to add some minced garlic for a little bit of flavor, some salt and pepper, and then the chicken broth. We have two cups of chicken broth here, and like I said, I just use the better than bouillon with some hot water. Now here's a tip, if you want your Instant Pot to come to pressure even faster, just pop whatever liquid that you're using in the microwave until it is nice and hot or use like hot tap water, juice, whatever you're using, and it will come to pressure way quicker. Just give this a little stir and then we're ready to pressure cook. Now put your lid on the Instant Pot, 
set the knob to sealing, otherwise it will not work. And we are going to cook this on manual high pressure for just three minutes. After the three minutes is done, give the Instant Pot a quick release by venting the sealing knob from sealing to venting just like I did there and letting the steam release from the Instant Pot. This is kind of like when you have a shaken up soda bottle and you're just cracking the lid a little bit to get that pressure off so then you can get the whole cap off. Now as you can see, we've taken the lid off and our baked potato soup is looking good. Using a potato masher, go ahead and mash up those potatoes, not too much because you don't want actual mashed potatoes, but just enough to give the soup a little bit of creaminess. So you can kind of stir it up like that and you still wanna leave some potato chunks in there. Next, we're gonna add our heavy cream. Oh my gosh, makes everything taste delicious. Then we are going to add some milk. Now, if you don't have heavy cream or you don't have milk, you can use all of one or the other. Um, I think the combination just makes it perfect. Give your soup a quick stir, and as you can see, it's still a little thin, but don't worry because next we are going to be adding sour cream. Add a full cup of sour cream this is what gives the soup the baked potato flavor. It is essential to this recipe. So add one full cup of the good full fat sour cream and add a full cup of shredded cheddar cheese and give it a nice stir. You will be amazed at how quickly this comes together after it is going to thicken up. The cheese and the sour cream are amazing at pulling it together, making it nice and thick and creamy. And that is it, my friends. You can just ladle this into your favorite bowl and top it with some more cheddar cheese, that bacon that we made at the very beginning, some green onions or some chives, or any other topping that you love on a regular baked potato it goes amazingly on this loaded baked potato soup recipe made in the Instant Pot in less than 30 minutes. Okay, I did tell you that that soup was easy, right? It is so simple and it's delicious. You have to wear your stretchy pants when you eat it because it is definitely luxurious, but it is so good. This loaded baked potato soup in the Instant Pot in under half an hour. Um, again, please like, subscribe to my channel. I would so, so, so appreciate it as I'm starting to grow. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.